Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim Henderson. Well, it's, it's the evening for me, and what a packed day it has been, but a glorious day. I want to share with you, and we give God all the honor, all the praise. We worship him. There are, with channels that are dedicated to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the gospel of grace, and you know this channel really, you know, part of my calling as a watchman is to look at the geopolitical and tie it to the prophetic and to keep everyone informed. But I want to share testimonies like the testimony of, of a Muslim believer who watches this channel and is challenged to cry out to God and ask him to, to say, to cry out to Jesus and say, if you're real, if you are really what this crazy man says you are, if you are the son of God, if you are are real, Jesus, having, and, and what I love is they listen and they hear the truth of God, not that Jesus was just a prophet who the Muslims think he was, or, or what the Mormons believe, that he was created by God as a spiritual being and then came to earth and made mortal. So we know that we serve the only God, the one true God, who is eternally self-existent in the persons of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Well, when people hear that, we never know how that's going to be birthed in them, right? Because the Holy Spirit does the work. And this is what I love of the testimony. Now, often, and, and, and there are some of you from around the world who watch, but I want to share this testimony with you. So I'm not going to name this man. I'm not going to say where he's from, but I'm going to tell you he's from a Muslim country. And he's been following. And at first, thinking like some people still think, I'm, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I'm, I'm nuts. I'm a, as, as some have called me in the past, a wackadoodle freak for Jesus. Praise God. But hear the gospel message, because it's not my words, it's the word of God. The word of God, Hebrews 4.12 says, is alive and active and sharper than a double-edged sword, piercing between uh, joint and marrow, soul and spirit, and is with the... What's the word I want to use? Because I, I, I often study in the Hebrew. And is a discerner or judge is the best way to put it. Is a discerner or judge of the intentions and motives of the heart. So that's the way I'm going to translate that. Taking it from, I'm sorry, the, the Greek. Taking it from the Greek is a judge or a discerner of the intentions and motives of the heart. And, and so that's the word of God, alive and active. And the Bible says, it shall not return void unto God. Praise God, the word is alive, so the word goes out. So what we hear, and I've heard this before, but in this case is a person who's angry. So, so think about my channel. I clearly see Israel as God's timetable, right? It's, it's prophetic. I support and bless Israel the boundaries that God established. I've literally said many times on videos, no man, no woman, no leader, no nation, no league of nations has the right to alter the boundaries that God established for himself and his people, Israel. Now, you, if you followed the videos for a while, you would know that I also teach that there are three people groups, that all of the Bible is for the believer, but not all of the Bible is about the believer. If you want to know about the, about the church, the bride, the body of Christ, read the letters. That's about us. In 1 Corinthians 10.32, it talks about the three people groups, the Jews. In the Old Testament, you had the Jews and you had the nations or what's often referred to as the Gentiles or the Greeks. But now, since Christ's death on the cross, shedding his precious blood to pay the penalty for our sins, and was buried and rose on the third day, since then, those of us of the household of faith, we are saved by grace through faith and not of ourselves, lest anyone should boast, right? 
we know that the Bible says, Isaiah said, our righteousness is like filthy rags. In Romans, it says, Romans 3.10, that um, I think I, that there's none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 10.9 and 10, if we confess the Lord Jesus with our mouth and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. For it is with the heart that man believes and is justified, and it's with the mouth that confession is made unto salvation. Praise God! It's the precious blood of Jesus. We couldn't save ourselves. Works won't get you there. It's all what he did. And 2 Corinthians 5, 21, he who knew no sin became sin that we might become the righteousness of God. We are the right, you hear me say this, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Well, for the Muslims, their God, they do not serve the same God. People may think that. They may think that Allah is a reference, just a name for God, but it's not Allah who they serve is a demon at best, Satan at worst. And there's a lot behind that, and one day I may do a video on that, but that's not really what this channel is about, but I may do it if enough questions arise, I try to answer the questions. But in any event, this is glorious. So when an individual cries out like that, who truly wants to know the truth, you know, I, I love what God said to the prophet Jeremiah. In Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. You know, the same God who loved Jeremiah loves us, and it goes on further in Jeremiah, and it says, when you seek me with all your heart, then you'll find me. And so I want you to picture this Muslim man seeking God with all his heart at this moment hearing these messages and something stir and at first it was like an anger well why is that because it's a spiritual battle those strongholds right the enemy wants to keep people bound up in strongholds doesn't want them to respond to the truth wants to steal the truth from them but praise god praise god his word is alive and active so now we're seeing people from all over atheists listen i i can tell you testimony after testimony after testimony and we praise God for it. I don't save anyone, you can't save anyone. It is a regenerating work of Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, we can be used in these final moments of the end of days. So anyway, I want, I want you to hear about this. So he cries out and he begins to have dreams and the Holy Spirit does a work in his life and he knows, but here's what's amazing. And I have heard this, I've actually seen a man on stage give a similar testimony that not a voice that he heard. I don't know if the Holy Spirit has ever so moved on you that it was so loud within your spirit. It was like an audible voice, but it was an audible voice. But this man heard, I love you. And, and he knew it was Jesus. And he knew it wasn't Allah because Allah would refer to him as a slave. Allah was all about anger to him. There wasn't that love. And the love of Christ, think about this, brothers and sisters, a word. When he came to faith, when that moment of, ah, it's truth, it's real. Jesus is Messiah. He is the Son of God. And he always did exist. And he was born of a virgin. And that work of the Holy Spirit. And someone is born again. They're born of the Spirit. And then overwhelmed with the love. Now, I've heard reports as well of believers in places like Syria and places in the Middle East and Muslim countries that have come to faith and given the opportunity. Some of them have literally, one family in particular in Syria, they basically, they've lost everything. They live in what would be like, you know, a canopy on poles. They did not want to leave when given the opportunity because they want to stay and share the gospel of grace with others who are bound up in deception is that it can make you cry couldn't it they have a chance to leave and escape but they are so compelled because of the love of Christ that is shed abroad in their heart just like this man oh brothers and sisters people are coming to faith in Jesus Christ we talk about an awakening I'm telling you an awakening has happened even in China where people are put in internment camps and 
and it's an atheistic society and it literally will impact what they can buy and sell and how they can live their lives and the underground church and there are over reported over a hundred million true believers in Yeshua HaMashiach in Jesus Messiah having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior that's glorious and that church is growing people in Iran coming to faith in Jesus people in Israel coming to faith in Jesus there's there's a missionary my church supports within Israel a messianic movement and we praise God for that brothers and sisters this is glorious you know we we look at the things that are going on in the world and we look at the chaos this is all part of it but this should not impact our joy this should not because we know that soon and very soon our bridegroom is coming that trumpet will sound and we're out of here but until then praise God for every person so when I talked about 1st Corinthians 10 32 you've got the Jews and I'm gonna say the nations or the Gentiles and then you have the body of Christ that is anyone from the Jews or the nations of the world who comes to faith who is saved by grace through faith in the atoning work of Jesus Christ knowing that he shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary that he died was buried and then on the third day rose from the dead praise God he was the first fruit and then we have been born of the Spirit hallelujah that is glorious well what I want to ask you to my brothers and sisters is if if you are out there and you have you you know you've been born again you've been share your testimony if you've been born again through a medium like this if you know of someone who has if you've been strengthened in your faith let me tell you we have been seeing just amazing things from our from our assembling together I'm not even gonna say the church from our assembling together from brothers and sisters coming together people coming who have come in with stage four cancer and walked out completely healed praise God we are seeing things we are in the final moments of the end of days but in any event let's let's start sharing I praise God that you pray for one another feel free I love when I get a chance I don't get to right away all the time but when I get a chance to see your testimonies that builds us up in the faith amen and we need it because we know that the attacks are great now this Sunday again I'm gonna be going into the full armor of God so I'm not gonna go into that here um, that's at Jay Creek our service starts at 10 so it's usually around 10 20 10 30 that I begin to it's sometimes it's a little later that I begin to bring the message but feel free to watch live and I just want to tell you this I am so when when I hear of someone who has been born again they have come to faith in Jesus Messiah I I just rejoice all of heaven rejoices the angels rejoice a new name is written down in glory praise God so brothers and sisters I'm gonna say this God loves you fiercely and passionately I love you too have an awesome rest of your day